Hi guys, welcome back for another painting tutorial. So lately I've been playing around with a bunch of different mediums and one of those being gold leaf. I kind of had this idea to incorporate gold leaf into one of my oil paintings and I was trying to figure out how I could do that without it interrupting the oil paints too much. So I decided that I would keep it as the background of my painting and then for the forefront of my painting I wanted to have very detailed tropical plants. I love plants, I just feel like they bring such a good energy into a home and I thought it would be kind of a cool piece that would stand out on your wall. So anyways, today I wanted to show you guys how I created this piece. So as you can see, I've already blocked in the first layer of this piece and that's basically just going in and roughly laying down the darker areas and lighter areas wherever I think that they're gonna be needed, but I don't get too detailed right here. It's, it's really just like the rough foundation to get you started. So after that's nice and dried, then I start to go in with my second layer of the piece and this is really where it starts to come to life. I love this part. I don't go too crazy trying to detail it up right here either. Um, it's more just about making sure the color placement is accurate and then in the third layer, I really start to add those details over the top. That's where I'm putting my lightest highlights and just making any final tweaks or adjustments that I need to the leaves. So after I have my plants looking how I want them, then I'm going to start going in with the gold leaf, which is what we were here for. So let's get into it. So you're going to need gold leaf for this, obviously. Um, but aside from that, we're also going to need adhesive and a paintbrush, some paper towels. Tweezers were also a helpful addition for me to pick up the gold leaf and move it around nice. So. That's about it. Um, the kit that I have right here, I just got off of Amazon and it came with the gold leaf, the adhesive, the tweezers, and the little brush that I used to scrape off the gold leaf. So that was nice to have. Other than that, I just needed a paintbrush, which I have plenty of those and we can begin. So essentially all we're doing to apply the gold leaf onto our painting is gluing it on. So you're gonna take your paintbrush and dip it into the adhesive and paint on the areas that you want the gold leaf to stick to. Now when you're doing this, this part is probably the most crucial in applying your gold leaf because anywhere that glue sticks onto your painting, the gold leaf will stick. Um, even if you try to wipe it off, I kind of had that problem myself in a few areas. It's not too forgiving, so you need to be super careful whenever you're applying the glue because in the end, whenever you start to brush off the gold leaf, you're really gonna start to see how good of a job you did. <laughs> so um, take your time with this, don't speed through it. Just make sure, you know, if you have something like I'm painting here, you're trying your best to stay inside of the lines. And yeah, so I just did this kind of in sections. Whenever I was applying the glue, and I'd say the glue probably sat for a good like 20 to 30 minutes before I actually put the gold leaf on. I think that's important to know as well. You don't want to just apply the gold leaf straight away on top of the glue. Um, I would give it some time for the glue to sit there for a second so it can get a little bit tacky. And then the gold leaf just sticks to it a bit easier. I feel like that um, helped me whenever I was doing this. So after you've done that, then you're just going to take your gold leaf and find sheets that kind of match the size of the area that you're putting it onto and lay it down. I'm kind of just patting the gold leaf into the glue so that it sticks really nice. Um, and yeah, this is kind of a tedious little process, but you're really just putting the gold leaf anywhere that you put the glue down. And once you have the surface covered, then we're just gonna go in with our little bristled brush and we're gonna scrape off any of the excess gold leaf that is just hanging off here. And you should have like these nice crisp clean edges if you glued things down properly. You allowed it some time to dry so that, you know, the glue wasn't just like smushing out whenever you 
try to get the gold down into it. You can use your tweezers to kind of spread out the gold leaf and, you know, delicately place it along the lines that you need it to go. You can also buy like this loose leaf gold leaf that I have. I feel like this worked really well for this project in particular. If you have a larger painting that you're working on, they also sell gold leaf and sheets and that's really nice if you're trying to cover a large area. So all you have to do is use your brush and scrape off any excess gold leaf that we have here and that's about it. Um, if you need to, you can go over this a couple times and reapply the gold if there's some areas that were missed and you still have white canvas peeking through. 
that's about all it takes and you have a finished painting with gold leaf and I feel like this definitely enhanced this painting. I'm really glad that I tried it out. I feel like I could definitely see myself doing this again in the future with other pieces. I love the way that the gold contrasts against the green up in this piece and yeah, it was a fun project. So I encourage that you guys try it. If you've never worked with it before, it's a lot of fun. It's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Um, it looks awesome, so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!